You probably recognize Robert Pattinson from being the latest actor to tackle the role of Batman or from those movies. But what you may not know is the path Robert Pattinson has taken to rebrand himself, revive his career, and the overall love he has for film. Before his true explosion into the movie industry with Twilight, he was in some smaller projects and also took on the role of Cedric Diggory in The Goblet of Fire. He attended school at Herodian and performed multiple plays before inevitably making the leap to the big screen with his role in Ring of the Nibelungs. Afterwards, he had a minor role in Vanity Fair before being cast as Mr. Diggory following a meeting with Mike Newell and an audition for the role. Harry Potter ended up being a bit of a launch pad for Pattinson, pushing him forward into being cast more and more. You see, Robert Pattinson is truly a student and lover of film, and has spent his career taking smaller roles to allow himself to explore different settings and unique characters. After the Goblet of Fire, he ended up playing a World War II veteran, a student who has the hots for his teacher, and then he showed face as Cedric once again in Order of the Phoenix in 2007. Now, this era of Robert's career is where things really exploded. He auditioned for the role of Edward Cullen in Twilight, where he solidified himself as a household name. While many people would take this role lightly, as it's just a teenage vampire movie, Robert didn't. I feel very protective. He devoted himself to playing this character as best as he could. He faced a lot of criticism for his casting of Edward, as people didn't think he fit the character, and they even began a petition for him to be removed. However, he used this as even more motivation, and through his training for the movie, which included showing up months early to work through the script and train, as well as look at other works written by Stephanie Meyer, Twilight opened to a $69 million opening weekend in the US and Canada. He only continued to grow more in Hollywood following this. Twilight opened the floodgates for Robert Pattinson, and he refused to be typecast, but it's hard for the public's perception of you to change once they're introduced to you in such a memorable way. What the hell is even that? In 2008, he worked on Little Ashes, where he played a young Salvador Dali in a poetic film, where Dali and Federico Garcia Lorca find their artistic and sexual freedom. Following this short detour from his heartthrob behavior, Pattinson then joined back for four more Twilight sequels over the coming years. I just tried to trip her up and stuff. With the Twilight Saga being over, Robert Pattinson's schedule was open, and he found himself exploring again. He joined Guy Pearce for the rover, drove a limo around in Maps of the Stars, and then adventured to find an ancient lost city in the Lost City of Zed starring alongside Charlie Hunnam and Tom Holland. He then finished out 2017 as a bank robber before seeking out Damsel and High Life in 2018. 2019 is where I believe Robert Pattinson to have truly hit his full potential with the next few films he was cast into. He starred alongside Willem Dafoe in The Lighthouse, which not only is one of Robert's best films, but also one of Dafoe's and the best Lovecraftian horror flick to ever be made. He then worked on The King, a Shakespeare-based film, before the announcement. Fear is a tool. It was announced that Robert Pattinson would be playing Batman in the series' latest reboot. He was once again met with major criticism from the public and himself. He faced an extreme bout of anxiety once he learned of himself being cast as the Bat, broke his wrist, went on an extreme diet, and then accidentally pissed off a bunch of fans claiming that he didn't consider Batman a superhero because he didn't have powers. Looking back though, I believe he was the perfect person to play the role. It was a symbolic casting, honestly. The movie is about Batman stepping out of the shadows and changing the narrative around his true intentions, where Robert Pattinson worked for years to escape the perception of being a teenage heartthrob, exploring different corners of film, and he finally stepped into the spotlight as one of the best actors in the world. Moving forward, we'll see Robert Pattinson bear the cowl a few more times, and hopefully see him continue to experiment with smaller roles and portray unique characters while he talks truthfully about the projects he works on during his press tours. Did your Twilight experience turn out <laughs> to be what you expected? Oh.